So this just happened. Astralis just benched Blamef and will be looking to sell him and I actually can't believe they really had the balls to do this. But if we're being honest, this probably had to happen. Blame was not cutting it as an IGL so the only alternative really would have been to make Stown do the calling and Blame do the fragging. But again being honest, even then, the role clashes might still be holding Astralis back. As crazy as it seems benching a guy with Blamef's stats, this is probably the best move Astralis could have made. I just didn't think they actually had the guts to do it. The question now is, who are they going to bring in? There really isn't a clear path forward here. Are they going to bring back Glaive, who they just recently kicked to the curb? Glaive seems to be thriving at Ents, and he was failing for a while towards the end of his stint at Astralis, but the situation is obviously completely different now. So it could be an option, also clearing the way for Ents to pick up Snack from Gamer Legion and completing their full Polish roster. But what if it's not Glaive? Maybe Hooksy from G2 or Snappy from Falcons? Honestly, I think the best move for Astralis would be to get Snappy. I would love to see this roster under his leadership. He's proven recently that he's a really, really good IGL and he's never really gotten a chance with a top tier roster, especially a Danish one. But he just moved to Falcons and their ambitious project, so I guess it'll come down to whether or not he sees that project as being one that's very likely to turn out successful or not. What about Hooksy? G2 has been struggling a bit lately and they recently brought in Nexa who's been in-game leading before. I honestly don't really see his value to G2 as a non-IGL so I think it's possible that Hooksy goes to Astralis and G2 move Nexa to IGL and bring in a fifth man with some firepower. My guess for most likely move to Astralis right now would probably be Hooksy. I could be completely wrong so let me know in the comments if you think I'm a f***ing idiot. Maybe Patty from Ecstatic could be an option if they perform well at the Major, but Astralis might want to make a move sooner than that so they can get to practicing with their new roster. I think it's extremely unlikely that Astralis assembled this Danish super team to go international now, so any non-Danish players are pretty much out for me. Honestly, I think the timing is a little bit weird here. As I mentioned, assembling this super team and then pulling the plug after just one bad tournament, but at the same time, I think this move kind of had to happen, and it'll be interesting to see where Astralis go from here. So to wrap it up, let me know what you think, who's going to come in, and how's it going to go for Astralis.